Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Greg. Today I'm going to run over the numbers of the recent changes to Silver in Total War Arena. With the recent patches, they've allowed the purchase of front-end backgrounds with Silver, which for me is an awesome change. I love to have new content uh, available to me. Previously, I would not have gone anywhere near it purchasing it with gold because I use my gold for premium time, for commanders, or for premium units. So making it possible to purchase them with Silver is quite nice for me. And previously, Silver was a wasted commodity with the game. You know, we'd have players with 2 million, 3 million, 4 million Silver, and they'd never use it. But now, you can invest 300k into getting one of these backgrounds and you get your nice little soundtrack and it does look quite nice uh long story short i went in and bought them all uh i wasted a lot of silver on it just because i didn't think that they would actually have this offer in there for long but you know if it's a permanent change whatever i don't care too much what has actually happened with this change is very very detrimental so what I'm going to do really quickly is let's read through what they said the change would mean and then I'll go through what it has actually done. In the patch notes they said the balance adjustment of silver economy system, the price of consumables is raised. Okay. There will be more opportunities to win silver coins when completing missions. Okay. Sorry, tasks, not missions. So what we've actually seen is that the price of consumables is about nine or ten times what it was before previously you would be getting a consumable for you know on the higher tiers around the hundred silver mark uh, i wouldn't have been too much more a couple more maybe but um now we're looking at 800 to 1700 per consumable to put them onto each individual unit and if you're using two consumables, which you do from tier seven and higher, you are investing a massive amount of silver in order to have that consumable on your unit. And you are not getting any more silver for playing those battles. The second part of the patch notes where they mention an increase in the rewards for the missions, that has definitely not come into action because so far with the missions that I've seen over the weekend, the highest I saw on any of the missions was 1500 silver for that mission. So what we're seeing is an increase in the price of all the consumables and no increase in the gains. So what over a long period of time or even a short period of time, if you're playing a lot of tier 10 battles, if you've got two consumables on, uh, you're looking at you know 3500 per unit. Uh, so it's 7,000, 1050, uh, 10,500 you're going to be spending on each battle and you're coming out of it with only about 1700 silver for the win that's without premium that's without premium units there's no way even having premium or a premium unit is going to get you anywhere near the investment into that battle and eventually you're going to run out of silver you're not going to be play the, able to play the high tiers even at tier 5 when i was taking no consumables in i was barely breaking even with my silver investment into that battle for just the units which is absolutely ridiculous so what i did yesterday was i decided to get some numbers to get some actual proof around what i am saying here so i started a battle with 299,110 silver i was taking the tier 10 glaives with guan yu each consumable costs 1,725 silver. So I'm going to be purchasing six of those. So I'm going to be investing 10,350 silver into consumables. We won the battle. Awesome. I walked away with 1,768 silver. That's nowhere near 10,350. I even got a small amount for doing the mission, which was awesome. I had no premium time and no premium units on. So I lost nearly 8,000, just over 8,000 silver on one battle for a victory, which is absolutely insane. Now, if you're one of those players who only plays high tiers and you're playing quite a few battles a day, you're very, very quickly going to run out of silver and therefore you're not going to be able to play high tiers at all, even without those consumables. The cost of those tier 10 units to purchase them and to play them is 700 silver. If you're purchasing three of those, you're gonna be spending 2100 silver. That is more than the actual gains that you're gonna get through victory at tier 10. So after playing this for a while, you're not even gonna be able to play the units without consumables. 
Okay, so I'm in here on the front end lobby, uh, top right hand corner you can see 260,306 silver I'm starting with. I am going to select my three tier 10 units, 700 silver each, and I'm purchasing two consumables across each unit. So 1725, that's going to be times six, so we're looking at over 10,000 silver there to play this battle, plus the 2100 for the units. So that starting number of 260,000 has really quickly dropped down to 249,956. Now it's just excuse me whilst I go through and customize these units. And then we're going to jump into a battle. I'm not going to show the whole battle. I'm just going to skip really quickly through it so we can see what the results are at the end of the battle and the silver that you accrue as a result of the battle. So the battle's completed. We won. Congratulations. Let's have a look at the silver we have after the battle. So in the top right hand corner we're showing 240,916. Unit cost 700 and the consumables are still applied. What that value has actually done is it's taken the cost of these units off my silver for the next battle. Okay, so you don't immediately know how much silver you have as a result of the battle because what it's done is it's deducted the next battle's cost off it. And it's a bit confusing. So if I was to take all of these units off and uh, say for instance select tier one, what would happen now is the silver would go up because the victory silver of only 1,309 has been added onto my silver and it would not be reflecting the future units that I'm going to use in the next battle. So it, this is definitely something that everyone is going to need to pay attention to because they're going to be losing silver very, very quickly and they're not going to know why. It's because the costs have gone up massively and the income from battles has not changed at all. If anything, it seems like it's a tiny bit lower than what it was in uh, previous uh, patches. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments. And hopefully I'll see you on the battlefield.